Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to check out the brand new media remote made specifically by Sony for the PlayStation 5. If you're thinking about picking up a PlayStation 5 or you already have one, this is definitely going to help you guys enjoy uh, basically navigating the system when it comes to content like music, videos, and not necessarily that the controller is not good, but this takes it to the next level. This is TK and this is the media remote by PlayStation and Sony for our brand new PlayStation 5. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. In honor of the PlayStation 5, I'm actually using the PlayStation 5 as the background of our video. Uh, the remote that we're talking about again is the PlayStation Sony remote specifically made. It's called the Media Remote for the PlayStation 5. Um, in the box, you pretty much just get the remote control, two double, well, AA battery to power it, and of course the instructional manual. The model number is CFI-ZMR1. Now the main purpose of this remote obviously is to navigate your entertainment on your PlayStation 5, and of course it has dedicated buttons for quick access to entertainment applications. And then here we have the remote itself. It's pretty simple. It has a very similar look to the PlayStation 5 with the black and white concept going on. Uh, as I mentioned to you before, it is basically two AA batteries. Now there is a little button here that we have to press all the way and it actually pops this whole cover off. The AA batteries go in here, there's some information, but for the most part, just put in the battery, close it, it locks in its space. And of course, we have access to those four media buttons that they talked about. We have Disney, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube. And those are the pre-programmed ones. Obviously, you can download additional applications and install them on your actual, uh, the PlayStation Home under media. The main benefit here is that we have pause and play, rewind and fast forward, back, menu button, of course, navigation button with the selection button, volume up and down, a remote with the microphone option to be able to do some searching functionality. Of course, a TV on and off button. This will actually control your TV if you have a CEC turned on, which enables you to basically allow it to wake up and go to sleep when the PlayStation is awake. And last but not least, of course, we have a mute button here that enables us to actually just turn off the audio. PlayStation button on the bottom is the same button that we have on the controller. So pressing this will take us basically to the home menu. And of course, from there, we can navigate the rest of the system. Uh, one thing I will say though that there is no backlighting here so for the most part if you're in a dark lit room after some time your muscle memory will get you very comfortable using this remote but initially as I was setting it up and trying to using it with my TV here in the office I did have to kind of keep looking back at it. Now the thing to keep in mind is that obviously a lot of these functionalities are mimicked on the actual controller. You're able to use fast forward and skip forward skip back on the controller itself. You have the ability of using the different buttons to control different options here. This is very much more of the if you're turning it on you want to just watch a movie in this example I'm going to show you guys. I'm actually playing Spaceballs. I plugged in the DVD in there and it recognizes it very simply. I'm able to log in, use it as a standard media center without having to necessarily go find my remote or my controller. This is pretty much more uh, a smaller, easier way to control it. it. Sells for about $29.99, available online. And of course, I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. Now, as far as the setup process, it's pretty simple. You just have to go into the settings tab and of course, go in there and add the media remote. There's a section for it. And then it asks you to basically press the menu button and the PlayStation button and hold it till it recognizes it on the screen as you guys are seeing there with the setup process. Once you have that done, it's pretty much easy to go from there. You just need to make sure to obviously pair it first, otherwise it will not get recognized. Now, as far as the actual controls and setting up everything, uh, for the most part, I had everything already configured there. Spotify worked great. Uh, and of course, Netflix works great, Disney Plus, and of course, YouTube. Uh, you are able to log into your YouTube account if you have a premium account using the web-based interface and with the remote. And of course, once you have that set up, it pretty much takes over everything else. Uh, the overall experience for me was actually pretty nice, controlling my DVD content, controlling my music content, all of that stuff felt a little bit better as far as the way we use it with this remote. The intention here obviously is that this has given us a much better way to navigate the media part of the PlayStation 5. For gaming and of course general just overall if I want to be able to switch over and play some songs and so on, this is actually going to work perfectly fine. But I feel like the overall experience when I want to sit down with the family, I want to watch a Blu-ray movie in 4K or whichever, uh, this is definitely going to work a lot better. My only gripe about this is that there is no backlitting. I would have imagined basically about 30 bucks. This should have some kind of backlitting, but I would imagine that this is being done so that a battery on this can last a very long time. Again, the two AA batteries are provided and it's easy to set up. Just again, go into the settings, activate it, and you're pretty much set to go. If you have a PlayStation 5 or you're thinking about picking it up for a friend or a family and you know they love to watch movies, they love uh, you know Spotify, uh, they like to be able to basically enjoy content online, YouTube and so on, I think this is a great accessory if you're able to find one and of course will obviously augment the experience on your brand new PlayStation 5. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.